investigative tools that got them caught. Take a look at what many police agencies are using to solve crimes at crime scenes, including the recent Idaho murders case. 3D imaging that can take what would be a simple crime scene photo and replace it with this, a movable 3D model enshrining minute details forever. So if we're talking about LIDAR scanning of scenes, and they call it 3D imaging because it gives you a 3D representation of the room. The Forensic Center's Deputy Executive Director, Kevin Lothridge, has investigators train with a handheld Faro brand scanner. It takes rapid laser measurements, creating an interactive 360-degree image that's even admissible in court. To look at a room where people are positioned and evidence is positioned, it allows you to do a little bit more than just videotape or photography. To be clear, this isn't just 360-degree spherical photography that you see for a real estate tour or on tourism sites. Forensic 3D imaging takes not only pictures, but countless measurements each second. Thousands, like millions of points are taken in a point cloud. Crime Scene Investigations Professor Stephen Stockman says the technology can take detectives back in time. Helpful when the overlooked becomes critical. That piece of evidence that you didn't see that was significant is now in the, in the point cloud here a year later. How far away is that from the victim's hand? And you can literally go into the software and click to the, the index finger of the victim to the exact piece of evidence and then you'll get the exact measurement down to the millimeter.